Jeremy, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Uh, so I was going to say welcome to London, but are you from here anyway? I'm from Wales. Oh, you're from Wales? Oh, we love Wales. How is it to see your work on the big screen after all this time? Uh, well, I haven't seen it yet. Oh, this is a premiere for you. Oh, I know, I'm so wow. excited. Wow. <laughs> I can't believe it, yeah. Tell us about your role in the film and, and the challenges that came with that. Well, I was the makeup designer for the film. Kazu Hero did Bradley's epic makeup um, and was responsible for that in its entirety. And I tried to keep up with the rest of the cast. <laughs> and um, uh, it was, um, you know, a massive challenge going through so many decades uh, from the 40s to the 90s. And, um, you know, making Carey look. 21 and then making her look 76 um, but it's my favorite type of makeup to do period and aging I just love it so I just felt I couldn't believe they asked me to do the job to be honest how do you age someone who doesn't look that way what's the what's the key to it how does it work well we only, I only used prosthetics for the last stage when she got to her 60s and 70s and um, uh, I did most of the work prior to that with corrective work when she was young and then shading and highlighting as she got older so that there was a seamless aging process for her um, but you know and then the last stage when she was diagnosed with cancer then I had pieces on her um, which my lovely friend Duncan Jarman made for me uh, and we applied them together uh, so that was fun and Kerry, Duncan and I used to have a right laugh in the makeup trailer, I have to say. Uh, it was a joy and one of those jobs you can't believe you get paid to do, to be honest. Do you practice on someone else's face before you work with the stars of the film? Quite often, yeah, that's what I usually like to do. I have known Kerry for many years, though, so I've worked with her on about four films now. So, so luckily, you know, I have a shorthand with her already and I know her, so that always helps. And how did it feel to be involved in a story that is someone who's very special uh, and influential? How did that feel contributing to that? Well, you obviously feel a responsibility to get it historically correct, um, out of respect for the family as well, because her children are still alive. Um, and you also wanted to feel really authentic, and, and hopefully we achieved that. Ask your smart speaker to... Play Riverside Radio.